Hey everyone, it's me Jenny and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet this skirt. This is for size 6 months up to 12 months old baby. And the stitch that I use right here, it is called the box shell stitch. Um, as you can see, it is see-through, but you can put a lining in the skirt or you can just put pants or short pants, long pants, legging underneath the skirt. Okay, so um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet size 6 to 12 months, but of course you can do it bigger, um, just change the yarn size and the crochet hook. And the waist circumference for this um, skirt, 6 to 12 months, it is 21 inches and the length is 10.5 inches. Okay, so if it's too big for six months old, you can just pull the string right here, adjust the waist, and tie a bow. So that's all the, the that's the purpose of this string, just to adjust the waist. If it's too big, just pull it tighter. If too loose, just loosen it up a little bit. Okay, so for the yarn, I'm going to be using this Kaitopu. AK soft or AK soft, however you want to say it. This is a lightweight yarn number three. It's a DK weight yarn. Okay, it's 100% acrylic, and of course, you don't have to use this yarn, but you can use any lightweight yarn number three that you have. For the crochet hook, I'll be using two size 4.5 millimeter for the ribbing. And for the body of the skirt, 5 millimeter. Okay, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so first start by making a slip knot. Next, you're going to chain 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight nine so next we're going to start with row one for row one we're going to make seven single crochet and we're going to start from the third chain from the crochet hook okay so this is the first second and third okay into the third chain so one two, three, four, five, six, and lastly seven. Okay, so done with row one, seven single crochet. So for the next row, row two, start with chain one turn the work and we're going to make seven single crochet as well but for every row from now on we're going to crochet into the back loop only okay so this is the regular stitch you can see there's V stitch right there you're going to crochet into the top loop right here the back loop okay, so make seven single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay so we're done with row two for row three you're going to do the same start with chain one turn the work and we're going to make seven single crochet as well and crochet into the back loop only Okay, the reason to crochet into the back loop is so that we can get the ripping effect. So three, four, five, six, and seven. 
Okay, so done with row three. So next row four, we're going to do this. Do the same. Start with chain one, turn the work, and make seven single crochet. Okay, you want to repeat the same every row. Start with chain one and make seven single crochet and crochet into the back loop only. You want to repeat the same until the same pattern, the same process until you reach row fifty-two. Okay, so go ahead and crochet until you reach row 52 and I'll meet you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with all 52 rows, okay, so it's easy to count the rows actually. So if you see this bar right here, it's count as 2 row, 1, 2, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, 2, 4, 6, 8, 40, 2, 4, 6, 8, 50, and 52. Okay, so once you made all 52 rows, now we're going to join both ends together. So before we join, we're going to chain 1. And now we're going to join from this stitch, the first stitch, and this stitch right here. Okay, so we should we're going to join using the single crochet stitch. So hook into the first stitch right here, and into the first stitch right here. Okay, right there. So we're going to make total of seven single crochet across. So this is one and two three. So I'm just going to hide this tail. I'm gonna crochet it together. So one, two, three, four, five. Six and lastly seven. Okay, so done joining the band. Okay, so now we're going this will be the wrong side, the inside part of the skirt, the ribbing. So now we're just going to turn it. Okay, so this is what we want to see it from outside of the skirt. The right side and this is the wrong side okay. okay now that we're done with the ribbing part next we're going to do the um, skirt we're going to use from now on we're going to use this five millimeter crochet hook or US size H okay so we're going to start where right here so this is the right side and this is the wrong side okay so this is where we did the where we join both ends the single crochet stitch so now we're going to start with chain two so this chain two does not count as any stitch count so now we're going to make 52 double crochet so we're going to make one double crochet for every row of the ribbing okay so this chain two does not count as a stitch count so we're going to start the first double crochet right here okay one next row two three four five Six. Okay, so you want to continue making total of 52 double crochet around. So this count as round one. So go go ahead and make 52 double crochet until this end right here. Okay, so I'll meet you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with round one, you made total of 52 double crochet. Go ahead and slip stitch on the first double crochet right here 
Okay, so so far this is how it looks like. This is the ribbing part and this is the um, double crochet round, um, round one. So now for round two, we're going to do the shell stitch. So we're going to start with chain one. So this chain one count as a single crochet. Okay, so um, we're going to skip one stitch. So this is the stitch where we did the slip stitch to connect both ends. So we're not going to count that. So this is the first stitch right here. So we're going to skip that first stitch and we're going to do the shell stitch next to this stitch. Okay, so skip one stitch and shell stitch into the next stitch. So for the shell stitch, we're going to make five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we made five double crochet going to skip one stitch and we're going to do single crochet into the next stitch okay so next we're going to skip one stitch and we're going to make the shell stitch next to the skip stitch so for the shell stitch you're going to make five double crochet as well one two three four and five now we're going to repeat skip one stitch and make single crochet skip one stitch and we're going to do single um, shell stitch one two three four and five next we're going to skip one stitch and we could do we will do the single crochet next to the skip stitch okay so we're going to repeat skip one stitch do the shell skip one stitch single crochet skip one stitch shell stitch so you're going to repeat until you reach the end right here and i'll meet you once you're done okay so once you reach the end of round two Okay, I haven't slip stitch yet. You should have total of 13 shells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so the 13 shell, you should have one stitch left right here. So we're just going to ignore that. Now just slip stitch into the chain one, the chain one from the early round. Okay, slip stitch. Now we're done with round two. So this is how it looks like. Now for round three, we're going to start with chain three. One, two, three. So chain three, um, the first two chain count as double crochet and the third chain is um, chain one. Now we're going to make another double crochet into the same um, space right here where we did the slip stitch okay so now we have V stitch okay double crochet chain one and one double crochet so now we're going to chain three one two three next we're going to do V stitch um, so for the V stitch it's going to be one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so every V stitch we're going to do it in this single crochet stitch from previous round okay one double crochet chain one and one double crochet okay so next we're going to chain three repeat as same as here one two three next we're going to do v stitch into the single crochet one double crochet chain one and one double crochet all into the same stitch okay so next go ahead and continue three uh, chain three one two three and then we're going to do v stitch into the single crochet stitch from the previous round next chain three one two three 
and v stitch into this single crochet okay so go ahead and repeat chain three and do the v stitch until you reach the last single crochet right here okay go ahead and finish up round three and i'll meet you at the end okay so once you made your last v stitch so right here go ahead and chain three one two three and we're going to slip stitch right here into the second chain okay so this is the chain three where we started earlier of this round so we're going to slip stitch into the second chain okay so we're done with round three so this is how it looks like now. okay now let's start with round four so for round four we're going to do the shell stitch and the single crochet same as right here so first we're going to start with chain one okay next we're going to do the shell stitch into this chain one space this v stitch right here so for the shell stitch we're going to do five double crochet as well it's one two three four and five okay next we're going to do single crochet we're going to do single crochet on this shell stitch from round two just go ahead and shell stitch and this is the chain three just single crochet the chain three together okay so next we're going to do shell stitch into this v stitch five double crochet one two three four and five next we're going to do single crochet into this shell stitch from round two and single crochet the chain three as well okay and repeat shell stitch into this v stitch one two three four five next we're going to do single crochet okay so go ahead and repeat do the shell stitch into every v stitch and single crochet into this shell stitch from the previous two round okay so you single crochet you single crochet the chain three together as well okay so go ahead and finish up round four and i'll meet you at the end at the last shell right here so you for round four you should have total of 13 shell as well okay go ahead and finish up and i'll meet you at the end now once you reach the end you made your last shell so this is the first shell and this is the last shell shell number 13 so we're going to finish up round four to finish up round four you're just going to do um okay i'm going to show you um hook into this shell stitch right here okay yarn over and pull the yarn through the stitch and then we're going to insert the hook into this chain one from the early round okay yarn over and pull the yarn through the chain one okay now you have three loops on your crochet hook now we're going to pull this first loop over this two loop okay so that's how we do this slip stitch from now on for every shell round this is how it looks like Okay, now let's start with round five for round five we're going to repeat exactly the same as round three where we're going to start with chain three and we're going to make another one double crochet into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch right here okay so chain three one two three so the first two chain count as double crochet and the third chain count as chain one 
Okay, so we're going to create V stitch right now. So we, I'm going to make another double crochet into the same stitch where we did the slip stitch. Okay, so did the first V stitch right there. Now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to do the V stitch into the single crochet from the previous round. The V stitch is one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Okay, go ahead and finish up round five. Repeat the same as round three, and I'll meet you at the end of round five. Okay, just make chain three and V stitch into every single crochet from the previous round. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so once you reach the end of round five, you made the chain three. Now go ahead and slip stitch into the second chain, one, two. Okay, so done with round five. This is how it looks like so far. Now for round six, we're going to repeat the same as round four. So we're going to start with chain one. Now we're going to do the shell stitch into every V stitch. Okay, so for the shell stitch, it's still going to be five double crochet. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to single crochet right here. Next v stitch sorry we're going to do the shell stitch into this v stitch one two three four five next single crochet okay go ahead and finish up round six just repeat the same as round four going to make the shell stitch into every V stitch and single crochet just right here okay go ahead and finish up round six and I'll meet you at the end once you reach the end of round six you make your last shell so go ahead and slip stitch as I um, show you earlier at this round right here this is how you are going to slip stitch for every shell round into the chain one from early round okay so done with round six and this is how it looks like now for round seven we're going to do the v stitch and instead of doing chain three we're going to do chain four okay so the starting is going to be the same start with chain three one two three and we're going to make one double crochet into the same slip stitch space okay so that is the first v stitch so now we're going to chain four one two three four okay so from the previous two v stitch round we did the v stitch and chain three so from now on for this round we're going to chain four okay so v stitch chain four and we're going to do v stitch into every single crochet stitch from the previous round okay so the v stitch is still the same one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so next chain four one two three four and v stitch Okay, so go ahead and finish up round seven do the v stitch chain four and do the v stitch repeat until you reach the end of round seven okay so i'll meet you there okay now we're done with round seven now for round eight for round eight we're going to do the shell single crochet shell and single crochet 
and we're going to increase this a little bit right here so for the shell we're going to make six double crochet instead of five double crochet shell okay so for round eight start with chain one and we're going to do the shell stitch we're going to make six double crochet into the v stitch right here okay so <clears throat> one two three four five and six okay next we're going to do single crochet right here next shell stitch into the v stitch six double crochet one two three four five and six now single crochet okay so go ahead and repeat shell stitch single crochet shell stitch okay go ahead and finish up round eight and i'll meet you at the end now once you're done with round eight you made your last shell now go ahead and slip stitch into the shell from the previous row from the previous two round and into the chain one from early round okay so done with round eight this is how it looks like now for round nine and round 10 you're going to repeat exactly same as round 7 and round 8 so for round 7 you're going to do the V stitch chain 4 and V stitch and for round 10 you're going to repeat round 8 where you're going to make um, start with chain 1 shell stitch single crochet shell stitch and single crochet okay now go ahead and finish up round 9 and round 10 and I'll meet you at the end of round 10 okay so once you're done with round 10 this is how it looks like I'm just going to put my camera okay. so now we're going to do um, for round 11 we're going to do the V stitch and chain round so um, for the previous V stitch round we did um, for the V stitch one double crochet chain one and double crochet and we chain four so now for round 11 we're going to start with chain three as usual one two three the first two chain is count as double crochet and the third chain count as chain one and we're going to make another double crochet into the same slip stitch Okay, so we created the first V stitch right here now for the chain instead of chain 4 we're going to chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay so V stitch we're going to do the same one double crochet chain 1 and one double crochet okay we increasing the chain because um the next round round 12 we're going to make we're going to increase the stitch for the shell okay so go ahead and finish up round 11 do the V stitch and chain 5 okay go ahead and finish up and I'll meet you at the end of round 11 okay so once you're done with round 11 you made the last chain 5 now go ahead and slip stitch into the second chain right here from the beginning of the round now let's start with round 12 round 12 we're going to do the shell round so from the previous round we made six double crochet for the shells so for round 12 we're going to make seven double crochet shell stitch okay so start with chain one now we're going to make seven double crochet into every v stitch okay so one two three 
four, five, six, and seven. Okay, now we're going to do single crochet. And we're going to do another v um, shell stitch into the V-stitch, seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, single crochet. Okay, so you go ahead and repeat um, the shell stitch, single crochet, shell stitch, single crochet until you reach the end of round 12. Okay, so I'll meet you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done with round 12, you made your last shell right here. Now go ahead and slip stitch over the chain one. Okay, so this is how it looks like. As you can see, it is starting to increase a little bit bigger. And you're going to repeat round 11 and round 12, another three set of both round. So meaning round 13, 15, and round 17, you're going to do the V-stitch and the chain round. And for round 14, 16, and round 18, you're going to do the shell, shell round. Okay, you can do this as long as you want or you can just stop it at round 18. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round 13 until round 18. All you need to do is repeat round 11 and round 12. Okay, so go ahead and finish up until round 18 and I'll meet you at the end of round 18. <clears throat> now once you're done with round 18, you made your last shell right here. Go ahead and slip stitch chain one to secure stitches and cut the yarn just cut enough to within ends okay so we're done with the skirt part so i'm just gonna move my camera a little bit so this is how it looks like so now that we're done with the skirt part now we're going to do the band for the skirt just so it can tighten up at the waist area so go ahead make a very long chain okay so once you made a very long chain i made 33 inches Go ahead and make single crochet across all the way to the beginning chain right here. Starting from the third chain from the crochet hook, one, two, three, just go ahead and make single crochet into every chain. Go ahead and finish up and I'll meet you once you're done. Okay, so once you're done making all the single crochet, go ahead and weave in all the ends, weave in this end right here and this ends. Okay, now we're going to slide this string or strap around the waist area so I'm just going to find my this here where we join the waist where we did the single crochet so this is going to be the back of the skirt so this is the front So I'm just going to slide it in and out, in and out the ways. Okay. 
Okay, so there you have it. This is how I crochet this box shell skirt for size 6 months to 12 months old or it could be up to 18 months. Okay, it really depends on the size of the baby. Every baby has different size. So I do hope you find this tutorial easy to follow. If you have any question, leave your question at the comment section down below. I'll try my very best to reply. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share this video with your fellow crochet friends. Follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That way you won't miss any of my future upload. Okay, so for now, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care everyone and God bless. Bye.